that changed my path a little bit. What should have happened is it was this weird limbo where I was out of West Point, but I wasn't yet at Fort Leonard Wood, which is where the um, Army Engineer Officer Basic training is. So I was supposed to go out to uh, to Bullock there, um, and I still did, but uh, I got delayed. Well, I ended up still going there in July. So a month and a half later, I was out there, but I was on crutches, and they weren't very happy with me. So I didn't <laughs> brand new to the Army. They they just teach you all the things that you know, more of the high level leadership stuff at West Point, the next, the little practical things, uh, you're never supposed to PCS or permanent change of station in the army when you're broken, when you're on profile, when you're injured, um, or sick. Um, I didn't know that I showed up because West Point already let me go. And I was on this weird graduation leave time frame. So I showed up and, uh, I chose engineering, not because I necessarily wanted to build things, uh, we mostly were blowing things up at that time. Um, it was mostly route clearance. And um, so the engineer corps in the army definitely took a hit um, <clears throat> by the time I got to my unit later in, in Fort Lewis, Washington, um, it some changes, but I chose it because little known fact, the army has a few um, deep sea engineer divers. So it's about 90, I think 90 to hundred in the whole army. Um, there are, there's a combat dive school that many special forces uh, green berets go through, but the actual engineer dive field. Um, there's a few officers selected each year. So I was going because again, it represented the biggest challenge I thought I could take on. 